you could use the upgrade. But I will attack with you. What do you want, Melbourne? You still want the science. Seven more turn oh, one more I lead with seven techs. Wow. They have had that for a long time, haven't they? Now Melbourne is in awe. There we are. You know what's up. I'll protect you. Want a little gifty? A little gifty gift? Okay, now that I have philanthropy, that policy, it actually gives you 55 instead of 50. So I don't think it changes this one, which is kind of strange. It gives you five more here and ten more here, so it actually makes it worth it to spend more, as opposed to just slowly giving 250 each time. Hmm. I kinda like to give you the kill. France is all the way over there. Stop getting buddy buddy with my buddy buddies. Cities we like to visit. Are these really the only two with tourism? Kind of weird. Kind of weird that the Mongols have a little bit of tourism. Purchase Pagoda at 200. It's worth it. For the most part. Yep, oh yeah. They are liking me a lot. Ooh, hey there. You want to come down this way. Hey there, Indonesia. Oh no, uh, yeah, that's fine. I have to clear away this fog a little bit more. And I do not like Portugal because they're going to be putting their their bases inside my friendly city states, like with Braga right over here. At Lisbon. I need to explore more. No, that's done only f still 43 turns, but you need to expand, that's why. I'll build a trireme. Two more turns till it grows there. I want to get the trireme to explore things. So, wow. Bar Raging Barbarians really only increases the spawn rate of the Barbarians, not the increase in Barbarian encampments. That's weird. So it really didn't matter that I put it on at all. That kind of sucks. It always felt like it made a difference. But at least turning on Raging Barbarians gets the most out of using Honor. So really the only reason that you want to get Honor is if you have Raging Barbarians on, because you get culture for every Barbarian that you kill. So, it kind of, it indirectly makes it work. Indirectly.
Yeah, caravanissary. No, I'm not bullying Kathmandu. Kathmandu has been my friend for longer than you have, Keitzel. I'm fine on happiness, and I don't really care for a great person. Although... All city-states which are allies provide a science bonus equal to 25% of what they produce for themselves. That is very good. I want that right now. I'm going to get commerce as well. It's weird the, how they changed commerce. When they added exploration, exploration is essentially production. Well, it, 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 pr exp exploration are benefits for coastal cities, where commerce are, ben are mostly benefits for inland cities. Kind of. Not really... It is for wagon trains, but all the rest of it is good for any sort of money sieve. Anyone that's going for a lot of money. So commerce is good for that. I am going to get commerce, but right now I'm liking that science. Yes. I may go down rationalism. Not doing aesthetics, not doing exploration... Probably. I need a lot of culture. I kind of want to do piety. But it's not really the, the huge thing that I'm going for, I suppose. I should send you over to take care of those guys. There goes Chichen Itza. Oh, well. Ooh. Is that... Arabia? Alright. You. Alright, yeah, you can just build that. Now you can do... hold on. I kinda... I'll start building Machu Picchu. And just cut down the forest first. Yeah, all these tiles are being worked, except for that one. I don't have the instruction yet. Oh yeah, in perfect timing. I'm gonna be able to get a lot of these. Three missionaries. Dude. And a free mosque. That's so good, especially for a civ that doesn't have mosques. Alright, and barbarian naval units start spawning on turn 30. I'm assuming that's probably for standard speed, and that's what I normally go for. I was thinking about going for epic... not epic speed, but um... The one that's not as long as the longest one. Oh yeah, epic speed, not marathon. Or vice versa, I forget what. Whatever the shorter one. Longer than standard, shorter than the longest one. I was thinking about doing that, but I forgot. <laughs> hmm. Construct a lumber mill. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go for that after I get theology. Because after theology is... Angkor Wat's good. Don't care a huge amount for it. Universities would be great, though. Oxford, really nice, but... I'm gonna need to start expanding my cities more. I, I wanna... This is gonna be a big expansion period. Once I get as many of these wonders as I can. Now this guy... That's right, expanding there. Put you there for the moment. So I'm definitely gonna... Raging Barbarians would be fantastic for playing as Three the Ottomans. For the Horses from Genghis Khan ended. Oh well. I didn't even use them. Oh, 
Alright, so what do I want? Oh, I don't even have piety. I'm dumb. I might as well go for Hagia Sophia. I want the mo the Great Mosque. Has it been built? I feel like I would have noticed, but... I'm doing the best in literacy! Haha! -ha! Oh yeah, and uh, Bridge of Barbarians would be good for Montezuma as well, because you could just farm culture. I'm gonna one day do a very aggressive cultural victory as Montezuma. Kind of like how I'm doing an aggressive play... an aggressive... Uh, diplomatic victory as Germany here. I'm doing better at not choking on my words, but not so great. Wow, France is doing terribly. It's not every day that's, that you see Mongolia being the weakest in soldiers. Who would be the strongest? Man. Right now I'm worse than population, which is kind of a bad thing. Could be worse. Yeah, I'm gonna go construction. Alright. Almost alright. Allied... Friendly. You want sugar. Is there any sugar anywhere? Heroism. There is some, he's fighting over there. Must be with barbarians. Another good thing about Raging Barbarians is that it helps... Helps all the AI do poorly. I love it, because if you just look... If you were here earlier... Not that. If you saw just how little gold everyone had, I wonder if it's still like that. He's only got two gold. Oh, dude, sugar. Huh? I would love sugar, but you've only got one of them. Nine. They're all doing a lot better now, but earlier in the game they were doing so poorly. Oh yeah, look at look at how he's doing. He's got negative eleven, and he's he's got thirty in the bank. He's doing terribly. Attila, how are you doing? He's doing rather well. Genghis Khan. He's doing quite well on gold. Gonna need to keep that in mind for when one of my trade routes goes down. When it completes. Like, the one with her. Or the trade. The trade for my truffles. He's only got three gold. France is not doing well. This gives me 50% speed in the capital. Sure, you can stay on alert. Hey! Am I gonna get another spearman? Oh, speaking of the Ottomans. He's not doing well on gold either. His navy has to be huge. That's probably why. He's at the top, isn't he? No, he's not. Wow. Oh, and I got a great scientist. Awesome. Do I wanna... I wanna build you somewhere. It's pretty early in the game. I wanna put you somewhere. I want to put you right there. I should probably... I kind of want to just build over there. Just to get it. I'm gonna... Hope that it grows to that tile. Let's put it over there to get the zen... Moving. I don't know. Come on. And who is it? Oh yeah, it's the Ottomans. Herpeter. Of course. Humboldt. Gonna move you over there to get it going. I don't want to do the instant thing. I can get more if I just place him on a tile. Clear the forest for Hamburg. Cool. Now gang- Everyone wants to declare war on Genghis Khan! Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, do I want... Do I want to go to war with him again? I'm gonna... I'm gonna give it ten turns. Do I care to fight him? Breathing. Do I care to actually fight him now? Okay, now that that's finished, I kind of want to start keep working on... What was it? They're doing the worst on soldiers. They're very bad. And if I can gain anything from them, I guess that wouldn't be that big of a deal. 21. Hmm. Do I want this city? We built this city. We built this city on rocky. I'm out of tune. Whatever. Seven turns. <laughs> if I declare war on him, he's probably gonna wipe. He's gonna give me peace with no real detriment. Do I wanna just kill him? And even then, if I don't, that'll just get it. Uh, what city is this? Whoa! 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 Not cool! Not cool, man! He took Wellington. Alright, that is probably what I'm going to be going for. I want to take that city back. I want to free it. Free it from the oppression. I'm going to free Wellington. And they will be my best friends. That's a good enough reason to go to war with him. Alhambra would be nice. I keep going for the wonders. That's not a good way to think. I've just been lucky, I I guess. Great Wall, meh. Yeah, the sooner I get aqueducts, the better. I'll just do it. I can hopefully wait for chivalry. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the thing about Germany is that being aggressive, uh, like, what is it? What is uh, our special unit? Where is it? Buildings, buildings, uh, yeah. Right here, the Hansa. Unique German bank replace, uh, replacement plus 5% production for each trade route your civilization has with the city-state. So... The mindset, I suppose, is that you play aggressively against the civs, but you play friendly with the city-states. So that you can get the more production to fight more civs, I guess. Was there something that I wanted you to build? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Oh, yeah, you don't have my religion yet. Just three turns, get a trireme. 